Hello and welcome to Mal Makes. Today we're doing a painting based on Donkey Kong Country. This is the full version. If you're interested in the time lapse, you can click on the card here. Otherwise, let's get started. Recently I learned that in the world screen for Donkey Kong Country, the pirate ship for King K. Rool gets closer and closer to the island the further you progress in the game. And I thought that was really cool and I thought it would be kind of fun to paint that scene. So I've sketched it out here on the canvas and um, normally it's kind of like a tight crop to the island and then the ship gets bigger and bigger and bigger towards this spot as you're like getting further in the levels. So I thought this would kind of be fun to paint but I have a much wider screen than like the game would have on a television. So I've kind of stretched it out a bit, given it some breathing room, um, just so it looks a bit better compositionally with the canvas size that I have. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is painting my sky. Um, I've put my horizon kind of at the top third and I've kind of centered the island over here on the right third, just so I have like a good composition starting to form here on the canvas. Now I'm going to be painting kind of like a light blue fading to white, like an even lighter blue towards the horizon. And I'm going to be painting below where my horizon line goes. Um, I'm going to mark it on the canvas so I have an idea, but after I do the sky, then I'll tape off the horizon and work on the water right where I want that division between the two to be. Here's my horizon line, and like I said, it's a third of the way down, so my canvas is 18 tall, and that divided by three is six, so this is six inches right here. Now I'm going to start with my lightest blue right along the horizon, work into kind of my medium blue, and then my darkest blue at the top. And this is kind of a small space to fit those three, and it's okay if I kind of lose one or the other just based on the transition, but I'm just trying to get it from that lightest color to the darkest color at the top. The sky had to dry before I could move on because I can't put my painter's tape on top of wet paint. So once this was good and dry, I drew back in my horizon line um, back where I'd had it before, and then I put a piece of painter's tape down here on the canvas. Um, so what I did is I marked um, every 12 inches up all the way across the canvas, and then I very carefully laid the tape down so I had it right on that line. Now I'm looking at the bottom of the tape because I'm going to be painting from here down, um, not the top because then I would would have a gap where there was no paint. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and fill in the ocean now. In game, there's kind of like a highlight right there on the horizon, so it's like super titanium white there, and then it kind of goes into different blues as it gets to the bottom of the screen. Now I'm going to fill in the entire ocean in kind of plain blues. It's going to look a lot like the sky, and then once it dries I can add the waves on top with some texture. But I want to get that blue down first so I have a good gradient of where all of the colors are going. These blues are really, really pretty. I really like the colors that I chose and how this gets a bit more like ultramarine blue and this is a little bit more cyan up here. Um, next would be putting in some of the waves and some of the texture into this space. But um, you can kind of see some of the sand on the bottom side of the island here. So what I wanna do is I wanna draw the island in first, fill it in solid titanium white to kind of cement it here under the canvas so the drawing doesn't go away. And then I can kind of work the waves on top. I'm going to be using like a glazing liquid with some titanium white. So they're kind of like feathery and transparent. And because they have titanium white and the island's blocked in titanium white, I don't have to worry about painting on top of the island. It'll just kind of disappear on top of what's already titanium white. And then I can fill in underneath here where you see the sand under the water. And I don't have to worry about losing the drawing or messing up the waves. I can kind of do it all at once. So I want to draw this in with chalk first, get it figured out where it's going to go, and then fill it in solid white.
I started to bring some waves here on the water using zinc white and I don't know if I like them so I'm just going to kind of leave them alone and then decide later if I like them. Sometimes you need to kind of step back, take a break, and then decide if what you're doing is something you like or not. Um, so I'm leaving those alone for now and working on parts of the island. Now I've broken it up into kind of things to paint. So there's like the tree house, the palm trees, the big stone here that's Donkey Kong's face, the factory, the mountains, pine trees. Um, there's just kind of all these little sections crammed onto this island here. And in the game, it's very hard to kind of see the exact details of what's going on. So I kind of have to make decisions based on what I see and what I think would look good. So for these mountains, I think in game they look a little bit more like they're composed of like blocks because there's kind of like a horizontal line and some vertical lines but I would prefer it if they were a bit more natural, like actual mountains. So I'm going that direction as I paint. Now I'm just kind of filling these in gray first, um, just to kind of get their shape here and some of their base color. And then I'm going to add some texture to make it look a little bit more like stone. And then I'll paint just the very top white snow cap. The map screen shows the sand and then the Vine Valley portion to be kind of similar in color. And I think that looks a bit strange because this feels like it should be more like prairie grassland with pine trees, and this should be more sand. So I've brought this a bit more tan and brown, and I've made this a bit more gold. And I'm scrubbing in with a dry brush some greens. And this is kind of the dark green I'm using. And dry brushing is when you only have a little bit of paint on your paintbrush, and you kind of just scrub some in just to kind of give it a hint of that color. Now I'm also going to be bringing in some light greens just to give a variation to the Vine Valley portion, and then later I can add those pine trees. Making the face, um, the stone lighter, definitely helped kind of bring that part together. Now I still need to put some like moss or like vines on it because there is some green there, but I'm going to leave it alone for now. And then once I start to do the green of the palm trees, I'll just kind of use some of those same greens and put it on the face of the stone. Um, next, I'm working on these pine trees over here and I've put down kind of the tree trunk in a black line first. And now I'm going to put the first layer of needles on. And I'm using a fan brush for that with just a little bit of black paint at the tip. And I'm just going to kind of start here and do kind of like a zigzag down the tree, just tapping back and forth. And then I can start to use more of the brush as I get further down to make it a bit wider towards the bottom of the tree. So 
so I finished the pine trees and I could work on the factory next or I could move down here. And in the original game, I'm looking at the map and I'm not recognizing what I'm looking at. To me, whatever is right here kind of looks like a round object kind of laid on the beach. And so I kind of thought, well, maybe it's a millstone. But that didn't make a whole lot of sense because like as you progress and you get the dots across the map, that's where all of the mine levels are. So I looked at the Game Boy Color version and it's definitely like the opening to a mine right there on the beach. So I'm kind of doing this as a combination of like the original Donkey Kong Country and then the Game Boy Color version, which definitely has a mine opening right here. And in the Game Boy Color, there's kind of sand that sits across the top of it where the lintel is of the door. So I'm going to be filling that in with some of these beach colors and then using like brown to make wood for the planks of the supports and the lintel across the top. The palm fronds started with like a dark green and then I worked lighter and lighter and lighter until I had kind of this nice grove of palm trees down here. Um, I'm starting to fill in moss for these rocks and there's also some moss on Donkey Kong's face, especially like the front part of it um, because it's still part of like the tropical part of the island. So there would be moss on the rocks there. Um, there also needs to be a little bit of snow up here. So at some point I'm probably gonna be using some white to bring in more up there. Um, but the island is starting to kind of get finished. I obviously still have the tree house, but that sits in front of all these palm trees. So that's gonna be one of the last things I do.
there were so many little things to work on. Um, so I finished the treehouse, but I also worked on things like adding in the rest of the waves, putting the moss on the face, the smoke from the smokestack, adding a little bit of snow to the top here. Um, just all of those little things to kind of finish off the island itself. Now the only thing remaining is just adding in the ship and getting the placement of this right with the um, kind of layout of the entire painting is very important. It really only feels like it can go kind of in one space. So I'm going to work really hard on drawing that exactly to be where I want it and the size I want it before I add any paint for it. I've noticed my darker chalk pastels leave like a stain or like kind of just a little bit of pigment on the canvas whenever I use them and erase them. Um, so I didn't want to keep redrawing the ship over and over in this area because it would just kind of start to make it all dirty from whatever chalk pastel would not erase. So I thought it would be easiest to kind of estimate how big I wanted the ship and I kind of measured like an inch across the bottom and thought that's probably good for how big I want it to be in this area. So in my um, sketchbook, I drew it out in paper first, and then I cut it out, and then I kind of played with the placement of it and decided right here, and then I just traced over the entire thing. Now I can start to kind of fill it in with some base colors and then add detail and texture as I'm working through each different part of the ship. The Jolly Roger skull and crossbones on the sail is probably one of the harder things here. Trying to get it right with the curve of the sail, I already tried it once and it looked too cartoonish. Which would be fine in a game that's pretty cartoony like Donkey Kong, but based on my painting I want it to look a bit more realistic so it kind of matches the aesthetic of everything. So I had to repaint the sail, let it dry, redraw in the skull and crossbones to see if it looked right, and I think this time kind of my placement and the size of it look a lot better. And I'm going to paint it in kind of more of like a dark gray instead of the solid black I did before, um, just so it kind of blends with the look of everything else so far. I also added a little bit of some of the darker blues underneath the ship here just so it kind of sat in the water. It is on this highlight part of the water so it really needs something there to kind of ground it in that space. So I used a little bit of the blue to kind of be more of a reflection and then I added a little bit of white right on the waterline because there would still be some waves there for that. Um, so I'm just going to fill in the skull and crossbones and then everything is done. And we're done! We have Donkey Kong Island from Donkey Kong Country. If you're interested in this piece, you could buy a poster or a phone case or bid on this original canvas. There's links down below. Also, consider supporting me on Patreon. You can find out more at supportmal.com. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future episodes of Mal Makes, and I'll see you again here for another video game painting. Mm -hmm.